If you are here for a review on the color oops hair color remover or you're just trying to remove color from your hair, you are in the right channel. Hi guys, so today we're not going to be showing my beautiful face, but we're just going to get right into this tutorial. I got the color oops um extra conditioning. I think they have another one, but this is the one I got because I wanted my hair to be extra conditioned and I wanted to also avoid um unhealthy hair. So I'm using this, I'm just following the directions that is written on the box, and we're just going to get right into it. It comes with two bottles inside, one labeled number two and another labeled number one we are um directed to mix in a ratio one ratio one <laughs> i didn't say that right in a one ratio one um amount so that means the same amount for each bottle so um i basically used all of them it also came with the long ass label so we're not really going to get into all of that before i forget guys we're provided with a plastic head wrap we're going to put our bundles inside and um, we're also provided with nylon gloves so now let's get right into the tutorial and you know some of the things we should have avoided and some of the things that happened afterward so this is the hair that i colored it looks awful i was trying to go from a black to a blue and um i don't even know what i was thinking that day i think i was rushing i was trying to go out that's why when you want to like you know do a good color job don't just rush just take your time like this was it ended so bad i could have avoided i could have avoided all of this if i just took my time now i had to go and buy color oops and see how i can correct this i'll also be doing a proper tutorial on how you can go from black to a dark blue without any green undertone or green underlying pigment so that aside let's get to this tutorial i'm wearing my gloves that they provided i already have a strip a hair strip i don't know if it's there I probably will show you so I first did a test on the hair before you know doing it fully on the bundles so I'm just wearing my gloves so this is a strip I was talking about it's actually removed the color but I'll still let you know in detail what exactly happened this is more like a review than a tutorial actually so um, I'm just making the mixture doing exactly what was in the bottle one ratio one i'm using this little um cup to guide me so i make so i follow the mixture guide them um, directions also very very important this thing stinks like it smells awful like i i didn't even know what that was like i felt so confused at first when i was using it and the worst part is it sticks on the bundles like it holds the bundles tightly and whispers i'll never let you go it was that bad I ended up using everything in both bottles and apparently I think they measured it like the same amount in one bottle is the same in the other bottle so that's a good thing also like I was just praying in my mind that this just this box will be enough for all the bundles I had because I was not about to buy another one judging from you know going by the smell so I'm just mixing thoroughly with this brush that I found. I couldn't find my regular brush, so I'm just using this instead. Like the direction said, you want to mix thoroughly, even though I can't like I really can't stop talking about the smell. <laughs> but hopefully, if you are if you've been using color oops, you might be able to tolerate it. Now I'm basically just applying it into my bundles, making sure to saturate it well, each bundles with the um mixture want it to really saturate if you wanted to do any color process so that's what i'm basically doing
So now I've wrapped all the bundles in this um, tiny head wrap that was provided. And we're just going to wait for about 25 minutes, I think. That's the guidance there, 25 minutes. So guys, this is how it turned out. It looks like a nice um, color removal job. So it's really nice. Um, this is how my hair was when I bleached from black to this blonde. However, it, after some days, it turned like it had this green tint. Like it started turning the bundles green. So I was not really sure whether it's because I didn't wash for a long time because in directions they say wash up to five minutes but i was not really happy with the results afterwards so i don't like i don't really understand if you've used color oops and you have like a solution for this please let me know in the comment section below somewhere in the back of my mind i also think it's because i was trying to remove blue blue is actually a very hard color to remove so that might also be it i'm not really sure for now i'm not sure if i can recommend this product to anyone because it hasn't really worked for me but that aside Thank you for watching this tutorial slash review. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.